Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's Monday Morning Mentorship with Honorable Kewan Chuku, CEO Ayure.com. Today, I have two special messages that I want to share with my members. So touching and so inspiring. I want you to listen to every single word of what these two people have to say. And I bet you, if you can actually practicalize it, and allow it to work in your life. From now to the next five years, you're going to be something very, very great. Come down and listen to these two very inspiring videos. Thank you. When election comes, politicians try to rally around you and they give you 2,000 naira. After 2,000 naira, they will now say four years later, they'll give you another 2,000 naira. Now, what it means is that every year, your value is only 500 naira. Then in one month, your value is 41 naira, 67 kobo. And in one day, your value is 1 naira, 39 kobo. When you allow somebody to determine your faith because of the money you collect, you have no reason to talk. So if they call us Niger Delta Avengers, they call us political talks, it is because we have sold our birthright. Hunger is the gift of God for man. Let me tell you, unless you are hungry, you will not look for food. When somebody gives you free food, they stop you from thinking. When you go and disturb somebody here for 2,000 naira, you can't think again. You need the hunger to activate your creativity. The difference between a vulture and an eagle is appetite. A vulture does not eat food that it kills. It waits for the food to be sick, to be weak, and to die. But an eagle will, wait, will kill its own. If you have to wake up every morning and go and wait at the chairman's house by 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. for him to give you money, you are suffering from a vulture mentality. I came here to shake the house. I came here to scatter. I came here to dominate. Somebody say go. people to call me a single mom by my title. I'm Lisa Nichols, who happens to be a single mother. Don't define me by my circumstances. Define me by my intention. But my biggest accomplishment is being willing to give myself a thousand second chances. And every time I got to 999, I pressed reset. I went to the same conference 42 times. And there I raised $532,000 in capital for my company to start my dream. And my dream was to transform teen lives. I got fired from five different jobs. I was broke and I was broken. Yeah. And then I got pregnant with my son unexpectedly. And then at eight months, my son's father went to prison. I went to the ATM to get $20 out the bank because I didn't have any Pampers for him. And in order to get $20 out, you got that $20 in. I had $11.42. For two days, I had to wrap my son in, in a towel. And I have my hand on his stomach saying, don't you worry, Jelani. Mommy will never be this broke again. And I looked at that baby at eight months, and I said, I want to transform your life. Because you didn't ask to come into this chaos. Come on. As an African-American male child in South Central Los Angeles, with a single mother whose father's in prison, he had a 66% chance of going to prison himself. Not on my watch. Mm. Not on my watch. So if I have to be willing to drastically transform myself so that I can become the woman that I know I can be. I was bankrupt in trying to not ask anyone for help. I was bankrupt in everything that was holding me and keeping me where I was. I've always talked a good game, but I wasn't doing anything with my gift. And all that thing about potential, I was tired of having potential. I wanted to have my now. My grandmother said that conviction and comfort don't live in the same block. Mm. If you're going to be convicted about something, you might have to go to some discomfort. But if you want to stay comfortable, why don't you just relax where you are? Because that's where you're going to stay. Right. And so are you willing to reinvent who you are? Are you willing to kill away the procrastination? Are you willing to kill away the excuses, the blame game? Yeah. I didn't ask permission. I gave notice. At some point, I have to stop asking, can I be great? Can I be brilliant? Can I be okay and still be accepted? I just stopped asking permission and just gave notice unapologetically, not in a braggadocious way, 
not in a way that shrunk anyone else, in a way that said, I only got one life, and I'm going to ride this one until the wheels fall off. And it didn't come from, you know, a motivational experience. It didn't come from a, an inspiring teacher. It came from hitting rock bottom. And that was the beginning of me rescuing myself. I realized that I am my rescue. No one else is my rescue. Mm. I am yeah. my rescue. I hope you have gained some knowledge from what those two speakers have said. Please, I beg you to particularize every single word they have said. It's very, very serious. Very, very serious. From now to the next five years, put it in your life and see what you will be in the next five years. I guarantee you serious, massive success. Thank you very much for listening to today's program. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ahero.com TV, and also click on the notification button. So anytime we have an update, you will be informed. You will get it. Please take care of yourself. Stay safe. Be inspired. See you at the top.